Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Funda family. In this video, I'll explain you 741 IC of operational amplifier. To understand 741 IC, let me tell you first how many things that I'm going to cover in this video. See first I'll be discussing about basics of 741 IC. After that I'll explain you meaning of 741 IC. After that I'll explain you pin diagram of 741 IC. After that, I'll explain you two essential terminals, terminal 1 and terminal 5, that we use it for offset null. After that, I'll explain you general specifications of 741 IC. And at last, I'll discuss about applications of 741 IC. So let us begin this video with first agenda, that is basics of 741 IC. See, 741 IC, that is IC of general purpose operational amplifier. With this IC, we will be having eight terminals and inside single IC, we will be having one operational amplifier. This IC741 that we widely used in electronic devices and in analog circuits. We use this IC in linear integrated circuit as well, right? So this IC741 that is broadly used in electronics. Let us try to understand first what is the meaning of 741. See, as I have told you, with given IC, we have total 8 terminals. Out of 8 terminals, functional terminals are 7. Out of 8 terminals, 4 terminals are input terminals. And out of 8 terminals, one terminal that is output terminal. So based on that number is 741. 7 functional terminals, 4 input terminals and 1 output terminal. That is how number is there 741. Now let me explain you first how those 8 terminals are there. So first of all you need to understand how to count numbers. So here you will have to keep notes and after that you will have to start numbering from here onwards 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Now this IC is having 8 terminals that you can observe out of which 4 terminals are input terminal. You can observe here by this blue color we have input terminals. See here we have OPAM. So with OPAM we have 2 inputs inverting input and non-inverting input. This input of offset null with 1 and 5 that is there to nullify the offset. So 1 and 5 those are offset null inputs that we use it to nullify offset voltage. That even I will explain you how to have nullification of offset voltage. First of all understand this we have total 4 inputs. We have one output and this terminal 4 and 7 that we use it for power supply. With terminal 4, we give negative power supply. With terminal 7, we give positive power supply. And terminal 8, that is unused or you can say it is not connected. So out of 8 terminals, we use 7 terminals. 4 terminals are input. 1 terminal is output. Now, what is my output over here? If I say with this operational amplifier, let us say differential gain is AD then my output will be differential gain AD into inputs. Now here if I say with non-inverting terminal input is V1 and with inverting terminal input is V2 then output is this V1 minus V2 into differential gain. Right. That is how output will come. If I say this V1 and V2 both are 0 then ideally Output should be 0 over here, right? And here, this differential gain that is happening based on this power supply. So, your output cannot exceed beyond this power supply. So, here, positive power supply is V plus, negative power supply is V minus. So, your total output that cannot go beyond power supply, right? As I have told you, if you give V1 and V2 0, then output should be 0. 
right but practically there is some output that is happening because of imperfection of fabrication of ic that is referred as output offset voltage output offset voltage is what output offset voltage is a voltage appearing at output if we have zero input at inverting and non inverting terminal right that is happening because of imperfection to nullify that imperfection we use this offset null terminal 1 and offset null terminal 5 let me explain you how we use it see here we have operational amplifier ic right now this inverting and non inverting terminal that we are grounding so ideally output voltage should be zero but if it is not zero then with the use of with the use of offset null pin 1 and 5 we can nullify it let me explain you how let us say this is let us say this is terminal 1 and this is terminal 5 in between terminal 1 and 5 we will be going to connect rio state rio state means variable resistor right so here you see rio state is connected and that wiper of rio state that we will be connecting it with minus v voltage here minus v voltage is minus 15 right now by varying the position of this we will be nullifying voltage over here so we need to wipe that rio state position and we need to keep position at such location where output becomes zero right so if you have some potential over here if you ground this to terminal then we need to nullify that output and to have it we have terminal 1 and 5 in between which we will be connecting rio state and the wiper that we will be connecting it with minus v potential and we will be changing this position like this we will be keeping the position at which output is zero that is how we will be using terminal 1 and 5 right now let us try to understand what are the general specification of this ic741 see here we will be using power supply that is v plus and v minus that i have told right usually you will be observing that power supply should be having minimum voltage of 5 and you can withstand up to plus 18 voltage usually this type of specifications will be available to you still you will have to see the data sheet of your ic right input impedance of 741 ic that is very high it is approximately around 2 mega ohm with majority of opens ic output resistance will be low that is around 75 ohm voltage gain that is also very high differential voltage gain of operational amplifier is very high why the reason is first two stages are differential amplifier stages so here we are multiplying gain right based on that you can observe we have huge gain i have written that is 2 lakh over here but with some ic's you can have even 1 million of gain 10 to the power 6 of gain right what it means it means if you have 2 lakh gain then with 1 milli voltage of input you can have 200 voltage of output that is how gain is there right see maximum output current that could be around 20 milli ampere input offset voltage that also ranges in between 2 milli voltage to 6 milli voltage see input offset voltage that should be zero ideally but practically it is there with ic right that's why terminal 1 and 5 that is given to nullify offset there is output offset that will be nullifying with the use of 1 and 5 if you don't use that 1 and 5 terminal then with the use of input offset we can nullify it so input offset that is ranging in between 2 milli voltage to 6 milli voltage right and slew rate that could be there around 0.5 per microsecond right that is a rate of change of output with respect to time so that slew rate is around 0.5 volt per microsecond it could be even different with different ic's right but general specifications are this when you talk about applications there are so many applications even with this playlist of analog electronics i'll be covering many applications in this video lecture series like we can use it as an amplifier but obviously by default it is a differential amplifier 
but with the use of that differential amplifier we can have comparator we can use that in analog to digital conversion as well as digital to analog conversion in my playlist of digital electronics i have explained how to use 741 ic in dac as well as in adc we can use this ic in oscillator as well as we can use it in rectifier so all these applications that i'm going to cover in this playlist of analog electronics stay tuned with us Thank you so much for watching this and if you have any query just post that in comment section I will be happy to help you.